Despite a U.N. resolution calling for an immediate ceasefire, Israeli aircraft are bombarding Gaza for a 14th day, while Hamas continues firing rockets into southern Israel. Hamas says Israel's latest airstrikes killed two militants, an unidentified man, and at least seven civilians. The victims' bodies were carried through the streets for their funerals and laid on the ground as prayers were said. In all, Israeli aircraft struck more than 30 targets before dawn, with explosions continuing after first light. Neither Israel nor Hamas seems interested in a ceasefire. Hamas says Israel must open all of Gaza's blockaded border crossings. Israel's government says a ceasefire agreement must guarantee an end to rocket fire and arms smuggling into Gaza. By midday, at least 19 Palestinians had been killed. Gaza health officials say the Palestinian death toll from the offensive is now about 760, at least half of them civilians. The Israeli death toll stands at 13. For now, the UN has suspended its aid shipments to Gaza's civilian population. Officials say Israeli troops fired at aid workers. The conflict has left hundreds of thousands of Palestinians in Gaza increasingly desperate for food, water, fuel and medical assistance. Their plight is expected to worsen as humanitarian efforts fall victim to the fighting. John Belmont, The Associated Press.